Meghan Markle's legal headache continues as sister Samantha Markle launches new court bid. A document obtained by Newsweek stated, notice is hereby given that the plaintiff, Samantha M. Markle, by and through her undersigned counsel, appeals to the United States Court of Appeals for the Eleventh Circuit from the order granting defendants, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, motion to dismiss entered by the Honorable Charlene Edwards Honeywell on March 12, 2024. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Samantha claimed that during the Oprah interview, when she talked about what she perceived to be a betrayal by her family, her half-sister disparaged her. Samantha Markle, Meghan Markle's half-sister, filed a new appeal following the decision to dismiss the defamation lawsuit against Meghan, adding to Meghan's mounting legal troubles. Samantha filed a lawsuit, but Judge Charlene Edwards Honeywell dismissed it because to Meghan's remarks during a shocking interview with Oprah Winfrey. Samantha Markle has now filed an appeal against the ruling, though. The previous decision to reject the case would be reversed if the judge rules in her favor. I think it'd be very hard to tell all when you don't know me, Meghan said to Oprah at the time. And after all, this isn't my dad's condition at all, is it? When you discuss betrayal, it usually refers to someone with whom you have a relationship. Correct? I'm uncomfortable discussing subjects with people I don't know well. Samantha claimed that these remarks portrayed her as a stranger, a liar, and a deceptive fame-seeking imposter with avaricious intentions, and that as such, they were defamatory. Along with other remarks made during the interview, she says this one was disparaging, hurtful, and false. Judge Honeywell dismissed Samantha's complaint in March on the grounds that she failed to identify any statements that could support a claim for defamation. What it means to be near, to have a relationship with someone so close that you really know that person, is a topic that could be interesting for philosophical, psychological, or personal investigation, the judge said in her ruling. It cannot, however, have a decisive response. Either, Samantha, erroneously believed that their relationship was not close enough to warrant the use of the word betrayal, or Samantha cannot objectively demonstrate that she really knows, Megan. This comment is shielded from a defamation lawsuit by law as it is an opinion that is difficult to prove. As to the defamation claims, each and every statement is non-actionable, either because it is a protected opinion, substantially true based on judicially noticed evidence, not capable of being considered defamatory, or because, Samantha, is precluded from meeting the actual malice standard. Samantha is attempting to reverse Judge Honeywell's decision to dismiss the case with her latest appeal, if she is successful, the Duchess may face legal action in the future from her half-sister. According to a royal expert, Meghan Markle believes that Princess Kate should have backed her throughout her challenging times as a working royal. In May 2018, the Duchess of Sussex became an official member of the royal family. The former royal has already shared her experiences of finding it difficult to adjust to her new life. Beginning in 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan resigned from their position as senior royals. They are currently living in the US with their two kids. Meghan feels that Kate should have given her more support and doesn't understand why she towed the royal queue instead of doing this, according to royal author Tom Quinn, who spoke to the Mirror. Mr. Quinn continued, Meghan doesn't feel guilty about Kate, because she feels that Kate should have been the one person in the royal family to back her against every difficulty. Meghan just didn't understand why Kate always followed the royal line instead of supporting her, Meghan, the other outsider, he continued. Apart from anything else, Meghan knew Kate was an outsider. The expert went on to discuss the Princess of Wales's recent cancer diagnosis, saying, Meghan has been shocked to learn of Kate's diagnosis, but she feels that their relationship is too toxic to salvage. Additionally, Meghan doesn't want it implied that she is attempting to patch things up with Kate only because the latter is unwell. 
Megan maintains that Kate should apologize before attempting to mend fences because she was at fault. The Mirror claims that the royal family kept Harry and Meghan in the dark about Kate's condition, and that they only learned of it through the media. Meghan and Harry did issue a statement following the tragic news, stating, We wish health and healing for Kate and the family, and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. It is anticipated that Meghan and Harry will visit the UK again the following month. In honor of the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary, the Duke of Sussex is visiting London. Prince Archie, who is four years old, and Princess Lilibet, who is two, may also make an appearance during the visit.